What's up guys, Rogue9 here and today we continue with part 2 of our in-depth exploration of the new house map. In case you haven't seen it yet, part 1 covers everything you need to know about the second floor, including some nasty vertical angles and a couple of cheeky run-out options, so do check that out if you haven't seen it yet. Today we continue with the rest of the house to get a real overview of what has changed and how to take the best possible advantage of these changes while playing the new house in Rainbow Six Siege. Let's go! Comparing the before and after of the ground floor or first floor of house shows us that in terms of the overall layout, very little has really changed with the core of the map. We just get an entirely new section bolted onto the bottom. But before we look at these new rooms, there are a few tactical changes to consider with the old part of the map. The former living room has been renamed into game room and has a bunch of new props that can provide some cover to any defender trying to anchor here. Playing in this room has further been made easier for the defenders by removing two of the breachable windows, and the section of breachable wall next to the back stairs has also been made solid. The final change in this room has been to move the hatch from the center of the room to the western wall. This severely limits the lines of sight you can get for vertical play. In the lobby, the most dramatic change is that the front door has been closed off and all of the semi-breachable walls have been either made solid or switched to fully breachable. Of course, the view when you look up to the second floor from the lobby has changed quite a bit too, but since we covered those changes in depth in the last video, I won't go into those details. The kitchen still looks almost identical at first glance, except for the section of wall to the back stairs in the west being made solid, and a large new section of breachable wall added in the south leading into the brand new TV room. But a really important new detail is that the floor is now completely soft, and that also goes for the adjacent back stairs hallway. The most important parts of the floor you want to open up, especially as an attacker, are this part just east of the kitchen table, which allows you to lock off the rotations between the garage and the laundry via the southern door, and if you turn around and face north, opening this part of the floor in front of the kitchen counter will allow you to get an angle into the laundry room under stairs area, where there is now a soft wall to the north that will allow further rotation into the garage. Another important area is the hatch, which hasn't moved, and the floor around the hatch. If you can get the hatch open, you can completely lock down any rotation from the laundry room into gym through the breachable section of wall, and you can also attack anyone trying to hold the back stairs from directly underneath the hatch. If the hatch is reinforced, opening up this tiny bit of floor north of the hatch can still be enough to stop rotations or maybe even drop nades down onto a mirror player that thinks that they are safe there. Finally, opening up a small section of floor right in front of the music room door can give you a great view onto anyone hunkered down in the corner behind the cabinet trying to contest the doorway to backstairs and over into gym. The final old part of the first floor is over to the east, the dining room and the office. New features in the dining room are that the table is now bulletproof and will actually allow defenders to anchor behind it, and there is now a hatch in the southeastern corner of the room. This hatch is really useful for defenders to open up because it allows a very powerful angle down onto the brand new garage entrance door. And if you pop open the floor right in front of the door to the new connector room, you also get a great view down onto a potential diffuser plant spot next to the bulletproof cabinet. Last but not least, when it comes to the classic parts of the house, is the office in the northeast, and this is actually the only part that has changed in terms of the room's footprint. The office has been extended to the east, and this is actually quite cool from a defender's perspective, because, as with so many other rooms in the new house, the floor is now completely destructible, and from the eastern section, you can actually get a view onto the outside of the breachable garage door. Lurk up here as a defender to protect the door against breaching devices or even shoot down onto any unwary attackers. And of course, vice versa if you're on attack, make sure to clear out the office before you try to attack the garage door. Apart from the floor and expansion, there is a tiny new section of breachable wall towards the lobby, one of the windows in the room has been boarded up and one has been moved, and the furniture has changed a bit. Now let's look to the new rooms in the south, and here we have the music room in the west, the TV room in the center, and a small connector leading to the red stairs in the east. Basically, this entire section is just bolted on to what used to be the outside of the building. 
Interestingly, with all of the new destructibility added to the map as a whole, these new rooms have the least destruction of all. The entire floor in this section is solid and so are all of the walls really apart from the section to the kitchen I mentioned earlier and a small adjacent piece of wall connecting the two new rooms. Since these two rooms can be one of the objective sites on offer to defenders, they are interesting but most of the tactical considerations come from the rooms above and around them. I spoke about all of the defensive angles you can create from above in the last video and all I'll say here is, if you're planning on entering these rooms from the south as an attacker, do make sure you clear out the second floor first or you're going to get a nasty surprise as soon as you try to set foot through either the southern doors into the music room or TV room. On defense, of course, play from above but also make sure that you open up the connecting wall between the two rooms and maybe even play a mirror in the kitchen from the left side of the breachable wall there. And that is the first floor done, onto the basement and in terms of the overall footprint, this is probably the least change area on the whole map. The only changes are that the gym and garage have been extended to the north by about a meter or so and on the south side there are two little expansions, one west and one east. And that's it. Even though the basement can feel very new and confusing when you play it at first, it is so much more similar to the old version of house than you would think. And this feeling comes mostly from the rearranging of internal props and changing of some of the walls. If we start in the northwest, the walls of the depot are now solid. At first, this might seem like an improvement that benefits the defenders because they will now no longer need to reinforce these walls, but I think that in actual fact the idea is to make it easier for the attackers to push into and through this room. With a soft wall to depot, the defenders used to simply be able to open up a strip along the floor which allowed them to see the feet of any attacker advancing through the depot and then they could simply shoot them through the wall without the attackers being able to even see the defenders at all. That is now a thing of the past. Jim is very similar to what it used to be except for the props that provide cover, the slight extension to the north I mentioned right at the beginning and the double door to the stairs is now a single door and in terms from a tactical change, the solid wall along the side of the kitchen stairs has also been extended outwards. This is again an improvement for the attackers because defenders will no longer be able to cover the depot door through the breachable wall to laundry room. The only thing you can do as a defender now is to hold the long double angle through all three doors from behind these steel cabinets and while you might be reasonably safe here, your window of opportunity to intercept an attacker rushing in through the depot is also pretty limited. But honestly, if there is one theme with the house rework that you need to keep in mind, it's play from above. The best place to defend against any push into the depot is from the game room on the first floor. You want to shoot open the floor here, halfway in between the pool table and the southern end of the double door leading into the lobby. From here, you have a very safe angle down onto any attacker coming into depot below. Maybe close off the lobby and music room doors to make sure that nobody can creep up on you and you should be golden up here. The hatch in the corner can be an emergency escape route in case the attackers do try to pressure you. A great place for a rotation hole from gym to garage is over by the brand new shower. From here, you're pretty safe from every angle except when someone is coming down the back stairs. Now that we're in the garage itself, the first obvious change is the new extension to the north with the solid wall and shelving unit that provides cover and almost turns this area into a corridor. This solid cover is really important for defenders using the rotation hole to gym because it allows them to move through here even if the garage door has been opened by the attackers. Another of the major structural differences in garage is that you can now fully open the wall into the under stairs area. The conveniently placed white van and the hard wall facing east again make this a great place to open up for a relatively safe defender rotation. The area in the southeast of the garage has also been made much safer for defenders because not only is the second garage door now completely impenetrable, but that weird half opening in between the two garage doors that allowed players to shoot through has also been turned solid. A brand new little corridor and doorway all the way in the southeast does provide the attackers with an opportunity to get into the garage without requiring a hard breacher but like I mentioned earlier this door can be held from the hatch above and if you're an attack you must make sure that you clear out the dining room on the first floor before pushing in through here. 
Another set of steel shelves and lockers make sure that the attackers cannot use the door for any long angles, and to double down on that, the doorway that used to lead straight through to the laundry room has been blocked off, with a new door and mini hallway forcing the players around a double 90 degree turn. The entire design philosophy in the garage is pretty clear, plenty of solid cover and no long angles. And that brings us to the final room in the basement, the laundry room, and apart from everything mentioned earlier, the two small extensions, and and the new fully breachable wall through the understairs, there is only one subtle change left to highlight and that is a tiny section of solid wall facing west next to the door. I'm not quite sure what the purpose of this change is. At first I thought it was there to prevent long angles being created from the front of the garage all the way back to the stairs, but no, that's still pretty much possible. If anything, having this double angle with solid cover in between will probably help protect anyone holding this long angle. If you're on defense and have an ACOG, definitely get someone with a shotgun to open up these two strips of soft wall and defending the back stairs from all the way over at the front of the garage should be an absolute breeze, especially if you have a deployable shield too. And there we go, all of the structural changes and tactical considerations on the new house map summarized in two videos. If you find any of these little angles helpful, do give the video a like. It's free, really quick to do, and it really does help the channel out. Plus, it makes me happy. And with that, thank you for watching, I hope you enjoyed the video, and I will see you in the next episode.